Welcome to the Department of Steel and Mines. Let us start issuing of online Form D in the following steps. Click on the new licensee registration link on the home page. Under online registration, click on the link registration for new license. If you are an existing lessee or licensee, you are required to log into the i3ms portal using your existing user ID and password. If you are a new user, please click here to register for new license. The user is redirected to the apply for new license screen. Enter the applicant name in the text box provided. Enter the applicant address in the given space. Enter the district in the text box provided. Select the state from the drop down list. Enter the PIN code in the given text box. Enter PAN card number in the text box provided. Upload the PAN card copy by clicking on the browse button and uploading the file. Enter applicant's mobile number in the given space. Enter email ID of the applicant in the text box provided. Select the security question from the drop down list. Enter the answer in the text box provided. Confirm the answer by providing the same answer in the next text box. Enter the shown CAPTCHA text in the given text box. Click on the register button to register for new license. Click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on register. A notification appears for successful registration in I3MS and an acknowledgement number is provided. The user ID and password has been sent to the email ID and SMS to the mobile number. Please note down the acknowledgement number for further reference. The next step is to log in to the I3MS portal by using the user ID and password sent through email and SMS. Click here to log in. In the following screen, click on the new license button. The new licensee can log in through his provided user ID and password. If the user is using it first time, Click here to get login information. Enter the acknowledgement number in the given space to get login information. Click on the show button. The earlier security question chosen is asked. Enter the answer to the security question in the given space. Click on the get login info button to get the information to log in. The user ID and the password is provided for login. Click here to login. Enter the new license user ID and password in the text boxes provided. Click on the submit button. The user is redirected to a successfully logged in page. The user is required to change his password and update information for better communication. With the provided user ID, enter the new password in the given space. Enter confirmed new password in the given space. Enter name of the in charge who would be in charge of this IT intervention. Enter his designation in the next text box provided. 
Enter the email ID in the text box provided. Enter alternate email ID in the text box provided. Enter mobile number of the in charge in the given space. Enter alternate mobile number in the given space. Enter stationed at in the given space. If the user wishes a copy of communication to be marked to any additional person, then provide the following information. Fill in the details for additional person in the text boxes provided. If the information is same as the above communication details, click on the Same as Communication Details checkbox. Click on the Submit button to submit the details. Otherwise, click on Reset button to reset the data. Let us click on Submit button to update the registration information. The user is redirected to the Welcome page of Odisha Mines portal. Click on the Global Link License to expand the primary links. Click on the Update Profile link to update the profile details. Make changes in the respective fields and click on the Update button. The data is updated successfully. Click on the Form A primary link to register for new license. A message is shown notifying that the user's MTCC has not been either updated in the database or not issued yet. If the user has a valid MTCC, then click here to update MDCC details. The user is redirected to the Update MDCC data screen. For MDCC details, enter MDCC number that is letter number in the text box provided. Select applicant type from the drop down list. Enter the name of the applicant, a firm or company in the text box provided. Enter PAN card number in the given space. Enter applicant's email ID in the given space. Provide the full address in the given space. Enter contact number in the text box provided. Select the date for MDCC effective from. Select the minerals which are dealt from the right hand side box. Upload the enclosures in PDF format by clicking on the browse button. Click on the submit button to update the MDCC details. Otherwise, click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on Submit. The user is redirected to a screen with Guidelines for Online Application Form A. To proceed to apply in Form A, click here. There are five steps of registration. The user has to complete the steps one by one. Once the step is complete, it is indicated in green color and the pending steps are in default color. Step by step, the information in the application is saved for the user to complete it later on. The red star besides the fields indicate mandatory fields. In step 1, provide the basic information. Select the application type from the drop-down list. Select the new application if the applicant is applying for the first time. Select incomplete application to view the application that has been previously entered but has not been completed. 
then complete applications can be filled and completed in proceeding steps. Select applicant type from the drop down list that is individual, partnership firm or company. Enter name of the applicant in the text box provided. The MDCC number is provided. The user can view the MDCC certificate by clicking on the view certificate link. Provide the office address in the given text box. Provide the location unit that is address of place of business in the text box provided. Enter correspondence address in the text box provided. Enter financial status in the given space. Provide the email ID in the text box provided. Enter the phone number in the text box provided. Enter the profession in the text box provided. Select the name of circle for which license is applied for from the drop down list. Provide the post office and police station in the respective text boxes provided. Select the district from the right hand side text boxes. Under other details, select license type from the drop down list. With respect to the license type, Specify purpose for which license is applied for. With respect to it, select specific activity from the drop down list. Under certificate from competent authority for factory and boiler purpose, enter the order number in the text box provided. Select order date from the given calendar. Select valid up to date from the given calendar. Upload the certificate in PDF file by clicking on the browse button. For DIC details, enter the DIC registration number in the text box provided. Upload the DIC file in PDF format. Enter PRC registration number in the given space. Upload PRC copy in the PDF format. Provide IBM registration number in the given space. Upload the IBM copy in the PDF format by clicking on the browse button. If any special ground for grant of license in favor of the applicant, Select from yes or no. If yes, then provide the details, otherwise select no. Click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on next. Now the step 1 is indicated in green color, which means the step is complete. Let us now proceed to step 2. The user application number is shown. Under ownership of business, enter father's full name in the text box provided. Enter PAN card number in the given text box. Upload the PAN card copy in PDF format by browsing. Under Minerals, select Mineral for which license is required. Under Firm Details, enter name of person or firm from whom the minerals or ores will be purchased or procured. Upload the consent of mine owner or licensee for supply of minerals or ores in the PDF format. Under specific place or places of business, 
in case of depot for sharing whether the plots are converted for commercial utility select from yes or no whether the land belongs to land owner or hired plot select from own land hired plot or port railway if hired plot is selected then provide the terms of hiring upload the consent of tenant agreement copy of owner of the land and user agency for utilization of the land for stockyard purpose under other documents select the date of consent of the railway authority for utilization of railway click on the browse button and upload the file in pdf format click on the browse button and upload the copy for plot allotment letter of port authority click on the next button to proceed to the next step click on the back button to go back to the previous step click on the reset button to reset the data let us click on next the user is redirected for step 3 Now step 1 and step 2 are shown in green. Let us now proceed for step 3. The star marks are the fields exempted for T1, T2, M2, M3, B2 and C2. Under khata details, select the district from the drop-down list. Select the block from the drop-down list. select the respective village from the drop down list enter the khata number in the text box provided click on the add khata number button to add the details the khata details are added the details can be edited or deleted by clicking on the respective button for editing Click on the edit button against respective data. Make changes in the respective fields and click on the update button. A message box appears saying data updated successfully. Click on okay to continue. Similarly, a record can be deleted by clicking on the delete link with respect to the record. Click on the next button to proceed for next step. Click on the back button to go to the previous step. Click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on next. Step 1, step 2 and step 3 are shown as completed. Let us now proceed for step 4. The fields that have red mark are exempted for T1 T2 M2 M3 B2 C2 Under plot details select the district from the drop down list Select the respective block from the drop down list Select the village from the drop down list Select the concerning khata number from the drop down list Enter the plot number in the text box provided select the kisham from the drop down list provide area in hectare in the text box provided click on the add plot number button to add the plot details the plot details which have been added can be viewed to the edit plot detail click on the edit link respectively Make changes in the fields and click on the update button. A message box appears saying data updated successfully. Click on okay to continue. Similarly, a record can be deleted by clicking on the delete link. Upload the map sketch of the area in PDF format by clicking on the browse button. Click on the next button. 
to proceed for next step that is step 5. Click on the back button to go back to the previous step. Click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on next. Now the steps from step 1 to step 4 are shown as completed. Let us now proceed for step 5. The fields that have been star marked are mandatory fields. The MDCC clearance details are shown such as order number, date of issue, validity and certificate. The user can click on the view certificate link to view the MDCC details. Under OSPCB clearance, enter the application number in the text box provided. Select the application date from the given calendar. Upload the application in the PDF format. Consent to establish of OSPCB under Air Water Act. Enter the order number in the text box provided. Select the order date from the given calendar. Select validity up to from the given calendar. Upload the clearance order in PDF format. For consent to operate of OSPCB under Air Water Act, enter the grant order number in the text box provided. Select grant order date from the given calendar. Select valid up to from the given calendar. Upload the clearance order in PDF format. Under VAT clearance, Enter the VAT TIN number in the text box provided. Select the date of deposit from the given calendar. Upload the document for VAT in PDF format. Under IT return, select the financial year from the drop down list. Upload the document for IT return in PDF format. Under other details, select the affidavit date from the given calendar. Upload the affidavit copy in PDF format. Enter voter ID, passport or residential certificate number. Upload the respective file in PDF format. Click on the save and proceed button to save the data filled up till now and proceed for further steps. Click on the save as draft button to save the data filled up till now in draft mode. Click on the back button to go back to the previous step. Click on the reset button to reset the data. Let us click on save and proceed button. The user is redirected to the Make Payment screen. Along with the application number, fees to be paid for the application can be viewed. Enter the application fees which has to be paid for the license in the text box provided. Click on the link View Form A Details to view the applicant details under Form A. Click on the Chalan payment button to make the necessary payment for the registration through Chalan mode. Click on the online payment button to make the payment through online mode. Click on the back button to go back to the filled in form. Let us click on the Chalan payment. In the Chalan details screen, the application number is shown. Enter the Chalan number in the text box provided. Select the Chalan date from the given calendar. Enter the Chalan amount in the text box provided. Upload Chalan copy in PDF file by clicking on the respective browse button. 
click on the submit button to save and forward the chalan details for the respective payment otherwise click on cancel let us click on submit the chalan details can be viewed click on the edit link to edit and update the chalan details make changes in the respective fields and click on the update button otherwise click on cancel to cancel the updation a message box appears saying details updated successfully click on okay to continue click on the link under chalan copy to view the pdf file of the chalan copy click on the forward application button to forward the application to the next higher authority ddm for initial verification a message box appears asking are you sure to forward application click on okay to forward the application otherwise click on cancel to cancel the operation let us click on okay a message appears saying the payment has been done successfully and that the application has been forwarded to the concerned ddm the message provides the user's application number the rest details will be sent via email id after the initial verification the user can log in and under view form a primary link can view the status of the request for new license the user can select his circle and click on the show button to view specific request status application details such as application number apply date applicant name and status as action to be taken by ddm can be viewed click on the check profile link the request details can be viewed go back and click on the download form link out of the many forms the user can download form a by clicking on the respective link the user can also view the other documents attached after initial verification the ddm forwards the application to the sim the user can view the status as action to be taken by sim click on the download form link now form b is available for download that is the acknowledgement of the receipt of application for license after acknowledging the application will be forwarded to ddm for physical verification the user has to produce his requisite documents and other documents to the ddm until physical verification the user can view the status as action to be taken by the ddm after the verification is complete the ddm issues terms and conditions and nsc copy to the user the user can view the status as action to be taken by ddm click on the download form link and download the form for terms and conditions and nsc copy the user has to scan it sign it and upload the copies to be sent to the ddm as a sign of accepting to the agreements For doing this click on the check profile link the application details can be viewed upload the copy for terms and conditions in pdf format by clicking on the browse button upload the copy for nsc fd pledged in pdf format by clicking on the browse button for nsc fd details 
enter the NSC FD number in the text box provided. Enter the amount in the text box provided. Enter the post office or bank name in the given text box. Click on the Add More button to add the details. Similarly, the details can also be removed by clicking on the Remove button. Click on the Submit button to accept to the terms and conditions. Otherwise, click on Cancel to cancel the operation. Let us click on Submit. A message box appears saying Terms and Conditions Accepted. This message of accepting the terms and conditions is sent to the DDM after which the request application is approved. After approval by DDM, the user can view the status as approved. Click on the check profile link. After the approval, a license code is provided to the user for further usage and as user ID. The password is also set. Click on the download form link. Now the user can view and download the form D.